Each year, Heart of the Valley cares for thousands of lost and homeless pets until they can go home. This is possible only because of the dedicated staff at HOV who are truly the heart and soul of our work. Staff work tirelessly on behalf of pets and the people who love them. They start each day by ensuring that dogs and cats have a clean and comfortable space, fresh food and water, and of course, lots of love and hugs. Throughout the day, there's lots of cleaning and then some more cleaning, more cuddling, some playtime, introducing pets to their potential new family, veterinary care, vaccinations, adoption preparation. The work is both physically and emotionally difficult, but that doesn't dampen the spirits or the commitment of the employees at Heart of the Valley. It is vital, I think, that every human does something that spiritually satiates them, and that is what this job does for me. It's really important to feel like I'm giving back to the community of Bozeman. It's, Bozeman's been a part of my culture since college, and it's really wonderful to be able to give back to the community members and community animals, which is um, a gift that I'm really grateful to have. I work part-time in the vet clinic, and um, Normally in life, I like to fix things, especially and do things with my hands. And um, being able to uh, help out an animal that's um, had a rough hand dealt to it um, when it comes in, whether that's an injury or allergies or a sickness or something, and being able to um, get that animal back to a healthy state uh, where they can be um, happy and live a normal life um, would probably be my favorite part of the job. We put a lot of, of effort and just love into them and it's just such a joy when we get to see them come full circle and eventually find their homes. They take incredible pride in their work. They aren't satisfied with the status quo, but instead are always looking for ways to improve the services we provide. One of my most proudest moments <laughs> is really um, putting forth the Ringworm program. We implemented that program. I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, we've treated over 100 animals, including our most recent graduate, which is uh, Miss Charlene, who came from Wolf Point. She went through almost four weeks of treatment here at Heart of the Valley, and she just recently went up for adoption. And it's, it's, it's fantastic. They not only work at HOV, they are also adopters. First time I met Daffodil, I had walked into one of the dog rooms, Dog Second Adopt, and I just saw this fluffy girl shaking in the corner. So I knew that I wanted to work with her and see if I couldn't get her to come out of her shell a little bit. And I don't think I don't think I knew just how deeply you could communicate with your with your animal, with your pets, simply by listening with you know your eyes instead of your ears, and it's a really cool, it's a really cool relationship. They care for each and every pet at the shelter as if it was their own, but at the end of the day, nothing makes them happier than to see a pet go home. It's really celebratory when we watch um, an animal find their forever home. We get to see the joy on the adopters' faces, and I swear the animals know when they're going home because they're excited too. <laughs> and. I mean, that's why we work here. We get to see that joy. Um, it's, I mean, it's what we do. <laughs> Watching animals go to their new homes is a really special feeling. And being a part of that journey is, there's no other feeling like it on Earth. These dedicated men and women do this work because they know rescue animals aren't broken. They've simply experienced more life than other animals. If they were human, we'd call them wise. They'd be the ones with the tales to tell and the stories to write. The ones dealt a bad hand who responded with courage. Don't pity them. Adopt. Volunteer. Foster. Donate. But most of all, be proud you have their greatness by your side.